You've probably seen these pictures all over social media. People lighting candles and placing hockey sticks on their front porches. People all around the world are doing this to pay tribute to the 15 Canadians killed in a youth hockey team bus crash. And two on your side photojournalist JT Messenger shows us how Western New York's hockey community is coming together. You know, your heart goes out to the families. It's hard to even imagine what they're going through right now. I'm actually getting <laughs> emotional thinking about the poor families, you know. You almost start to cry when you when you hear it, you know, and, and that it could have been any one of us. The Humboldt Broncos junior hockey team from Saskatchewan was on the way to a game Friday when their bus was broadsided by a semi, killing at least 15. A tragedy that happened over 1,800 miles away in a different country, which is hit remarkably close to home in western New York. I remember pulling up the news article when it first came out and literally heart stopping thinking, is that our kids? Is that our bus? Our whole street plays hockey, so, you know, <laughs> it's a tough situation for all those poor people, you know. In the wake of the accident, a tribute sprung up online asking anyone to put their hockey sticks outside for the players who lost their lives in the hopes that wherever they may be, they'll always be ready and equipped to play on. In a community where hockey roots run deep, the response is unsurprising. God bless the families and um, just as much support as we possibly can for them. So if you've noticed a few extra hockey sticks on porches around Western New York the last few days, know that they're resting there for a purpose. It's a little way of showing, you know, we all care, showing, you know, everyone's thinking about them. In Buffalo, JT Messenger, Channel 2 News. And everyone is thinking about them. A GoFundMe page for the team has already raised, listen to this, almost $8 million oh. and is one of the top campaigns in the website's history. And if you'd like to donate, you can find a link right now. It's on our website, WGRZ.com. That was a, a tough story to report. Big community, mm. but a close-knit community. Absolutely. Yeah. I know a lot of people that are hockey families. Mm -hmm. They are very close, and it's just heartwarming to see a lot of these yeah, sticks up in front of